Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's Cloud Workload Protection presentation by Cyber Reason. Without further ado, my name is Cody Queen. I'm one of the product marketing managers here at Cyber Reason. I'm really excited to walk you through what we have here to present to you today on Cloud Workload Protection. So just to highlight a few of these items here, most organizations today are facing some real challenges when it comes to cloud security, and there are lots of different approaches. But Cyber Reason, we're taking a real-time detection and response action when we built our cloud workload protection platform. From the ground up, we understood that no customer has the same exact sets of needs, but most of our customers do need real-time capability to understand what workloads are potentially being compromised in their cloud environment, so they have visibility on everything. So given that all the challenges you see here on the screen, I'm gonna highlight just a few of them. First on the top left, you see distributed infrastructure and multi-cloud. This is something that organizations around the globe are facing as a challenge. No one organization th these days is operating in one particular cloud. For example, most organizations are in a hybrid cloud environment, both on-premises with certain uh, applications or certain key and core assets for regulatory reasons or otherwise, and then they're operating in, a, in an actual public cloud environment, but they're also you know, operating in multi-cloud. Sometimes they have multiple uh, cloud, uh, public cloud providers or multiple uh, private clouds that they're operating in. So it's a very complex world and it's difficult to often see what's happening across that, which is where we see limited visibility. Uh, and not having a common inventory of assets makes it really challenging for organizations. There's also siloed security. And this is a particular challenge for certain organizations that are trying to consolidate resources, especially given the limited um, you know, resource and staffing challenges that, that organizations are facing uh, in a modern economy. Uh, and just trying to be able to hire the right staff and personnel to be able to do your security uh, analysis and be able to provide the proper protection you need across your uh, network and machines. So solid security challenges are a really unique one. And we see organizations wor working with multiple providers but sometimes they're, they're using one that is cloud native and operates only in the public cloud. It could provide inventory of what's happening there, but they don't have that same visibility in their private or on-prem basis. Then you have automation, which we talk about as a blessing and a curse, and it helps make our lives easier, but also takes a simple problem like a, like a compromised container image, and it exacerbates that problem and spreads it out over multiple, multiple iterations across your cloud. And that's hugely damning if you have a security breach there. We have you know, forensic data loss, um, you know, multiple stakeholders, the DevOps and SecOps teams, for example, they often don't see eye to eye. They have very different sets of needs and challenges and each of these organizations can come uh, to one common understanding of what's happening, uh, but that's challenging. And so we understood that when we built this solution. Now I wanna share with you a quick highlight here. We have DevOps and SecOps misaligned. What is this? This is actually an interesting quote from a CISO that, uh, that my, I had actually met with and discussed uh, some of the challenges of cloud security with. And he essentially said this, my DevOps team doesn't understand security. My security team doesn't understand the cloud. And I know this seems very simple and straightforward, but it really does speak to some of the key challenges that organizations, CISOs, leadership, and everyone from the ground up and from the security analyst side, all the way up into you know, the C-suite are dealing with when it comes to cloud security. And understanding is really the challenge here. Doesn't understand security and doesn't understand the cloud. So coming up with a solution that's can solve the problem for both, uh, both types of stakeholders within an organization is critical. So what did we do here at Cyber Reason to develop something like that? Cloud workload protection. At its high level, it's easy to deploy and scale because we understand deployment is not a one and done. It happens over and over and over again because containers never stop deploying. Applications never stop deploying. It has to scale with cloud because cloud is constantly evolving and changing and business needs are constantly evolving and changing. It has to provide deep visibility, the Kubernetes, the cluster node, uh, compute hosted uh, level as well. Because if you don't know what's happening from the Kubernetes control plane, you can't tie that into what's actually happening at the node level. And those two things don't, see eye to eye, you could have a problem. And so we need to have that complete visibility and you need to be able to do it across the total cloud environment. Runtime protection, that I just mentioned the whole, whole or total cloud environment, that's the complete ecosystem. You need runtime protection. That's the real end all be all because you can do anything. Um, you, you, you can do anything to set yourself up for success in terms of CSPM or the other models out there. But if you're doing posture management as like CSPM, as I mentioned, it's not going to give you real-time detection and response capabilities for what's actually running as a threat in your environment. So you need that capability. 
And then I'll highlight the last one here real quick, the customizable uh, and automated response capability. We understood customers need customizability. No customer is the same. As I mentioned in the beginning of this presentation, no one, no one organization operates the same way. And so they need different approaches to be able to solve those problems. So customizing the solution to meet those needs is really critical. And automated responses can save a lot of time and can improve efficiency for organizations. One of the ways we do that here at Cyber Reason is we make what's complex and break it down into what's very simple. And here's a very quick analysis of what that could look like. So you have data from your cloud environment feeding in. It's sorted by our malloc detection engine, a proprietary tool that Cyber Reason uses to be able to come up with the most relevant information that would be of use to a customer when trying to understand what threats exist in their environment and what they need to do to act on them. So we're sorting all that data from the cloud and looking for evidence potential threats, a compromised container, you're arranging them in a set of suspicions, and you're coming up with something called a malop. And that's what we do here. We come up with a malop. And the malop for us is just a single story that can tell all the rich contextual detail you need to understand when you're looking at a threat from where it or originated to what assets and machines are affected. In this case, what containers are affected, what users have been affected, what how many other containers could be affected based on the, you know, the first container that was that was compromised and where it's gone, uh, where it's going to threat will evolve and how it can be stopped. So if you're trying to triage something, you can really understand it in a very simple way using the malop story. And we say here Cyber Reason is really the only provider who can offer runtime protection, runtime visibility and control plane visibility in a single view. And that's really critical, we believe for our customers. Well, what does this look like from, from a customer perspective, from an analyst perspective? Looking here at a, a quick screenshot of the WGET process. Um, this is basically just, you know, basically a, a script is being downloaded from external source. And that's an unusual behavior. So it raised red flags. So as you can see in this quick screenshot, you can see there are three containers that are affected right here, three users essentially that are affected. Then you can see there are five suspicious processes affected um, as well from those three users. And that allows us to look at and break the information. All this information can be contextualized and broken down into the timeline, which really tells us when the first event took place, all the way through to the affected machines, and when each process took place thereafter. Uh, in that complete timeline, that's the linear way of understanding what's happening. We can see the containers here. These are the actual container IDs. You can deep dive on each one of these, which is really critical. And as a high level, you can just understand what it looks like from, uh, from a customer user perspective. And when it comes up here, we, we have a response actions. And one of them in here, uh, among several different ones, is an audited, automated response action, which is really going to solve a lot of problems for customers because they can remediate things without having to intervene each and every time uh, in a future effect they can actually stop things that are going to occur that are similar in process. So that auto response capability is unique here. It's really bringing the best of the EDR space and applying it here to the cloud workload protection space. And that's why we, uh, Cyber Reason, really are trying to give the value to our customer uh, from, from all of our experience in, in EDR and prevention and applying it here for cloud workloads. Now, to wrap everything up and sum it up overall, what are the three big key value drivers here for our customers? First, on the left-hand side, you see protect workloads everywhere with minimal impact. That really just means that we built a cloud native security solution for containers at runtime that can protect them no matter where they're running in your total cloud environment. Multi-cloud, hybrid cloud, on-prem, in the public cloud, all of the above. And we do it with low impact of performance and workflows. We do that because we are trying to drive uh, through our own internal validation and testing, we've been able to see a 6x reduction compared to some of our near peers in the uh, the amount of compute power needed to run the sensor at the endpoint, which is really important. And it's a daemon set. Basically, bottom line is it's very simple deployment, and it's very good at observing and, and accurately telling what's happening uh, at the container level. And we do it all with that 6x less uh, impact to compute usage, which translates into performance, but also translates into money savings because when you're operating in a public cloud environment, you're paying for every bit of data you're using and every bit of compute power you're using. So that's why this is really critical for our customers. Second, visibility bridging DevOps and SecOps. We're really trying to provide a single pane of glass for both the DevOps SecOps organizations to be able to see and understand what's happening. We do it um, in a way that is uh, designed to improve their interaction and improve their collaboration, which improves efficiency. We have our easy deployment, auto scaling, it deploys in four simple steps, uh, scales whenever customers need it, 
um, very simply, and it's customizable and allows for experimentation. So we don't impact the workflow again, kind of back to the first point for the DevOps teams, which are constantly looking to uh, change and, and iterate and improve, and the security teams, which are constantly trying to ensure that the environment is secure. Lastly, we talk about deep detection auto response at petabyte scale. Everything in cloud is, is massive amounts of data, and we need to uncover threats at that scale. And we're able to do that with our malware detection engine. And in doing so, we can actually improve the mean time to respond by over 90%, which is really critical for customers, again, for efficiency sake. So not only are we effective, but we're very efficient in driving this uh, value to our customer. And then lastly, I, can, I said stopping attacks with auto remediation actions, that's again, very critical. So knowing that you can stop something before it actually is gonna harm you in the future is unusual and unique in this space. And we're providing that for our customers. So in totality, you can see, Cyber Reasons Workload Protection or Cloud Workload Protection Solution is, is designed to solve customer problems, knowing no one uh, customer is the same, knowing every customer has unique challenges they face, but that every customer can use the benefits that are driven by this product to allow them to improve their efficiency and effectiveness in protecting their workloads and their cloud native applications. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And please sign up for a demo and please look for more information on our website. And we'll be happy to discuss individually with you what you need uh, from a customer perspective. Thank you again. Have a great day.